everyone, it's Allie from Titan, and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another full box of VIP edition Double Masters packs. So there are four little mini boxes in here, four little individual packs. And we did just open up one in another video prior, directly prior to this one. If you want to check that out, I think we did pretty well there. Four awesome mythics and three really awesome box topper rares and one really awesome foil mythic in there as well. So I definitely recommend you check that one out. But if you want to just watch this one, that's fine too. We're going to be opening up another four here. And hopefully we have just the same amount of luck as before. So in order to get into it, if this is your first time here, well, what we do is snap ourselves into the corner and then we can get started. Now, if you're looking for more Double Masters openings, whether that be booster boxes or more VIP packs, we will be having some more. This will be it for me for once for the shop. I'll be doing a personal break from Mike F of six more VIP edition packs. There's a gnat flying around still. Very frustrating. It doesn't show itself when I'm not recording, and then it decides to come over here and bother me. But we will be having those later. Like I said, the personal break later. I'm getting a little bit uh, sidetracked from what I was saying before. But we do have also this coming Saturday, so the 8th of August. I almost said October. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing my mind here. But we will also be having a live stream starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. We do have it every week, but this week we do have lots of personal breaks of Double Masters via complete booster boxes, a group break of VIP packs, and regular VIP packs personal breaks. So I'm excited for that. We right now are here to look at these four packs right here, so let's get on into it. Now I really do need to clean off this knife. All the sticky from these VIP boxes are getting to it. So hopefully I'll remember between videos and I'll take care of that. If not, you'll just have to see the gross knife for a little longer. I mean, everything, of course, is fine. It's just a little sticky. Here we go. VIP pack number one of the second box here on the Titan Cards channel. And I feel like a lot of new people will be finding cha this uh, channel via Double Masters opening. But we are a physical card shop located in Pinellas Park, Florida. We are currently uh, just doing online and curbside sales. We're not open for the public, but we are just a little tiny shop. So, you know, if you're in the area, I'd normally say come check us out, but right now, uh, probably wait a while for things to calm down before you come on down. But we'd love to have you come visit us. Here we go, getting into the uncommons. We have duplicate. And Blight Steel Colossus, okay, definitely acceptable pull right there. Foil Blight Steel Colossus. Urza's Power Plant and Worm Coil Engine. I'm not too crazy about the new art for the Worm Coil Engine. I'm skipping over these basics because we checked them out last video. But um, it still is cool, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites out of the set. I would say my favorite actually really is the Stone Forge Mystic. I think that card looks gorgeous which we actually did, spoiler alert, see one in that last box of VIP packs. So far, Blight Steel is awesome. I love the new Tron Lands. Worm Coral Engine, while it is cool, isn't quite what we may have been hoping to get. But let's see if our luck changes here for our box stopper foils in pack number two. Commons. Urza's Mine Foil. Chromatic Star Foil, Core Tapper, not a bad uncommon foil. We have Maze of If, not bad. Merciless Eviction, ooh, Academy Ruins, nice. Gorgeous card, and Atraxa, again, we did see an Atraxa earlier today. So that is interesting to see two back to back here. We do have oop, a Runaway Swamp. Oop, one of these foils. I got distracted by the flyaway swamp that the mountain got eaten in our non-foil land stack. We do have mountain and swamp here. And for our tokens, human soldier and sapling slash angel and germ. So Academy Ruins, definitely cool there. Still thinking pack number three from box number one is the winner. Here we go. I did say that I was not uh, necessarily the world's greatest fan of the packaging for these VIP editions. It feels kind of wasteful to me, but of course it's more important the cards inside than what the packaging looks like. That's just a little, you know, my little unsolicited opinion. Brainstorm, Foil, Tower, Expedition Map, if 
Phyrexian Revoker, Fulminator Mage, and Thoughtseize. That's cool looking with the puzzle piece. And another Worm Coil Engine. Alright. And for our foils, we have the Unhinged Forest and a Mountain. An Elf Warrior Elephant Worm Murr. So on to number four here. Now see if in, you're in the group break, if you were in the group break here for the, you know, and if the group break, well, there was a group break for this one, you were in it, and you got artifacts. You'd be winning right now with the two worm coils and the four blight steel and all the other artifacts. But definitely artifacts seem to be the one that's popping off here in the second box. Well, let's see if that changes here with pack number four. Going over the uncommons again. Without switching piles. Thirst for knowledge. Blasphemous Act. Beacon of Unrest. And we have Noble High Arc. Foil. And Mana Crypt. So definitely, if you got artifacts and this was a group break, this would be, as the kids say, this would be lit. Two Worm Coils, the Blightsteel Colossus, and a Mana Crypt. That is gorgeous in foil. We did see one of these in non foil out of our booster boxes earlier. But in foil, oh man, that just shines. That is so cool. Then on to our foil lands, Island and Plains. Then Soldier, Human Soldier, Golem Servo for our tokens. And that is it for this next VIP box. Let's take a look at all of our most awesome hits here to get one foil mythic again. So maybe it's just one foil mythic per little inner case slash box. We did this time get Blight Steel Colossus. Very cool. For full rares, let's go over these. Fulminator Mage is cool. Maze of Ith is cool. Duplicate's cool, but nothing particularly stands out to me there. For our foil borderless mythics, we did end up somehow with two worm coil engines and a Traxa and a mana crypt. And for our rares, we did get Urza's Power Plant, Academy Ruins, Thought Se Excuse me, Thought Seize, my voice cracked. And Noble High Arc. So these are really cool rares. I still think, uh, actually, box number one might have been a bit better. We did see some really cool cards there. I definitely, like I said, if you haven't checked that one out, I definitely recommend it. You don't have to, but I really recommend that opening. And then, why not, let's go over the lands here. Looks like we ended up with two duplicates on the mountains. And that's our only duplicate this time around. Last time we had two duplicates on the four lands. This time, just two mountains. And now that will be it for our recap. Now, I don't think I mentioned it here, but because these openings are just for the store, if you're, you see anything you're interested in, these at some point, probably tomorrow, or well, at the point this video is uploaded, later today, should be listed on our TCG player. If, uh, that is linked in the description. Like I said, just if you see anything you're interested in, you might want to support our small shop. It would be greatly appreciated. If not, that's okay too. But just, you know, I feel like I have to mention it, otherwise the boss might get a little mad at me. So I just, I mentioned it, I did my I did my job for the video. But uh, that is it for this one here. Up next, we do have a personal break of six VIP packs. So if you want to see more VIP packs with a little bit more uh, stress on the line, because it is for a customer, make sure to stick around. So, you know, uh, videos can take a long time to upload and process here, so it might not be right away. So if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way it land in your little subscription box. But also, if you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed listening to me ramble about different things here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, turn it blue. If you have any comments for me, make sure to leave those down below. But I hope you all are taking care, staying safe, and having a good time watching these Double Masters openings. Hope you're all enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying opening them. But that is it for me here. Like I said, up next from Mike F, we have that personal break. And then I have actually a special package for me. If the video doesn't get up, that means it was something weird that can't be shown on camera. But all my packages so far that people send me have been nice, which I really do appreciate. So maybe two more videos from me in this outfit. And then later on today, because it is, it is 12.42 a.m., I did come in on a Thursday night to record because there's so much coming out, so much product releasing on Friday. So then later on after will be some Topps Chrome, a gold standard football in the brand new Star Wars Chrome Perspectives Resistance versus Fourth or First Order. Not the Fourth Order, First. But yeah, so let me let me hurry up and get on into those VIP breaks for Mike by cleaning this on up, hushing up, and getting on the next video. So take care, everyone. Hope I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, and I'll be back soon. Bye!